All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a super cool card trick that you can actually learn how to do uh, today if you wanted to, because it's really that easy and it's super simple and it's gonna get great reactions. So the way you start off this trick is you're gonna have a spectator pick um, pick any card pretty much in any fashion that they want. Now I wanna make sure that you guys know this is random. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dribble down the cards, all right, just like this and whenever you guys say stop, so just, you know, and this is gonna be random, so whenever you would say stop, I would stop dribbling the cards, right? So let's say right around there, you want me to stop dribbling the cards. I'm gonna show you guys the card, not me. Okay, so that's gonna be the card you're working with for the trick. And I'm gonna make it a point to try and figure out what your card is after I've mixed up the deck and whatnot. I'm just kind of giving your card. I'm trying to get a good feel for maybe which card you would have selected, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave the cards in the box so there's no possible way that I could try and figure out what the card is, right? So the cards are inside the box and I'm just gonna go out on a whim here, okay? Out of 52 cards, a shuffle pack, you picked any card. You know, it's actually kind of obvious that you would have picked the Ace of Spades, all right? So if that's the card that we ended up picking in the beginning and you want to learn how to do this trick, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so if you guys want to learn how to do this trick, all I'm going to do is flip over the deck and you guys are going to see pretty easily how I was able to do the trick, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give you some little nuances on how to perform this and whatnot, but essentially, bottom line is just take the deck of cards, take the box, cut a little hole into the bottom. Uh, this is the bottom right corner, okay? So that way you can see this part of the card. And you can do a lot of different variations with this box, but I'll show you what I did in the uh, performance. All right, so I know a lot of people get bugged out about you know gimmick decks or whatever, but this is super simple. And if you have an extra box lying around, it's not bad to do this because there's a bunch of different tricks that you can actually uh, you know mold into this and whatever. So essentially you take the box out and here's how it's gonna work. So you wanna make this look um, realistic. So you have the cards inside the box to begin with, and then what you do when you do what you do when you go up to the spectators is you flip over the cards using your hand to cover up the hole. Uh, and realistically, if they're not looking too close, they might not be able to see it. But at the same time, just cover it up with your hands so that when you flip over the box, they can't see it. Open up the box, take the cards out, and then flip the card box back over. Put it off to the side, whatever. And at this point, you're pretty much ready to start. So I'm going to give this um, to the easy way first. Essentially, you have the spectator. They can pick any card that they want, legitimately any single card. So let's say they were to go through and they wanted to pick this card here, straight from the middle of the deck, if I can even grab it. Um, this is the spectator's card. You're not going to know this until the end of the trick, okay? So let's say this is their card, the Queen of Clubs. When you do this trick, you're just going to place the card on top, and then you're going to take the first card. You're going to overhand shuffle. I'll leave a link if you can't do that yet. Uh, just take the first card, which is the Queen, overhand shuffle the deck, tell them you're mixing the cards up, and then you can you can basically stop here, but you just want to get the card to the bottom of the deck, okay? So whatever you got to do, just get their card to the bottom of the deck. And then if you also want to, you can do a bottom retention where you hold on to the bottom cards with your three fingers on the bottom here while you do the overhand shuffle. And that's gonna allow you to hold that bottom card on the bottom of the deck as you overhand shuffle the cards, right? So at this point, their card is gonna be on the bottom. And what I did in the performance was I dribbled the cards like this. They said stop. It was a completely random card, in this case, the two of spades. And all I did was I dribbled the cards, out jogged a little bit, so when I came to the back, some cards were hanging off. I pulled up, caught a break, did a few undercuts, brought it to the top, and I'll leave a link for that because this is a little bit more advanced. Um, you bring that card to the top, and then boom, same process. One card, shuffle it to the bottom, and then do a bottom retention. Now their card is on the bottom of the deck. All right, so now that you've heard me ramble about getting the card to the bottom, that's all you really have to do. You pick the box up again, and you just want to make sure that the faces are going to be visible when you put the cards in. So you just put the cards back into the box, okay? You have your fingers closed, flip over the box, cover it with your hands so the spectator can't see what's going on here. Shut the box, angle it towards you, boom. Just like, you know, just like magic, you can see the two of spades, whatever card they got right there in the bottom. The spectator doesn't need to know this. You're just going to put the box here, okay? You don't want them to touch whatever. Okay, but now you know the card, all right? So it's super simple. You cut the box open, whatever pitter patter you wanna make up as you talk is up to you, but I just kinda gave you guys a couple ideas of how to go about doing this, but um, I think it's pretty neat. I never, you know, I have another deck which I've cut into that I did something a lot different with, but this was actually a pretty cool um, 
little idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.